In this video, we're trying to solve the mystery. Is a GitHub certification worth your time and hard-earned money? So if you weren't already aware, GitHub now has certifications. They've got everything from GitHub Foundations, GitHub Actions, Advanced Security, Administration, and apparently coming soon, Copilot. And then when you pass your exam, you get this nice little Credly badge with all these skills on it, and you get to put it on your LinkedIn profile for everybody to see and not care about. I'm, I'm just kidding about the not caring part. Or am I? I guess that's what we're here to figure out, right? I myself took one of these certifications. I took GitHub Foundations. I studied for three days. I do have prior experience in Git and GitHub. And while the test only took me 20 minutes, I think I got around at 75%. I can't remember exactly, but a pass is a pass. And for each of these certifications, if you just click the prepare for exam, it'll bring you to the Microsoft Learn page. And, and this is the material I used to study. But are these certifications worth it? That's what this video is attempting to answer. Should you go out and get one? Well, in order to answer if something is worth it, we first need a clear, concrete definition of what worth is. You see, worth is subjective. It means different things to different people. The real question we should be asking is, if I get thing A, will it then help me get thing B? Will it result in something that I find value in? So I'm gonna define worth it in two different ways. Now, I don't know everybody in this industry, but I've been around the block long enough to know that when people ask, is a certification worth it? They mean one of two things. And those two things are one, am I going to learn something that I can use every day and is useful to me in my job? And two, which is probably 95% of people asking, is this certification worth it? Should I get it? Am I going to get boatloads of money? A year's salary right here. That's what I call them. Fun coupon or a new job or land that dream job if I get this certification. So let's start with what I find to be the most popular definition of is X certification worth it? And that is will this certification or will these GitHub certifications get you boatloads of money, a promotion, a, that dream job, or just a job in general, just for having this certification. Now this is very nuanced and I guess contextual and it really depends on where you're getting hired and who's hiring you right if you work in for instance the united states department of defense it industry um, they're going to care about a CompTIA security plus because it's a regulatory compliance thing so it's something that you literally need to have the job and then sometimes you will hear people say well certifications don't matter experience is king so i wanted to make this as objective as possible maybe allow us to look at some data to make this decision, is it worth it? So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take two popular job search sites, LinkedIn and Indeed, and we're gonna to search to see if employers are looking for these certifications. And that's gonna give us a objective idea of if this certification is a requirement anywhere or if anybody's asking for it. So let's start with LinkedIn. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna search for a literal string using quotation marks. And what this is going to do is it's going to search all the jobs and job descriptions that have this string or this mm, word in it. So to set like a baseline, we're just going to do like CompTIA A+, because this is a popular certification that shows up in a lot of job descriptions. So I'm going to search. And we see a bunch of job titles with literally CompTIA A plus in them. I want to move past those. I want something with it in the job description just to make sure this is working as expected. So here we have a job, uh, CompTIA A plus is not in the title, but if we look at the description and probably down by the requirements section, uh, we do see <laughs> CompTIA uh, A plus. Not sure what happened there. So let's try another one. We'll do CCNP. Right, and if we look, um, senior network engineer, and we go to requirements, we see CCNP. So, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to search for one of these GitHub certifications. So, let's do GitHub foundations, and we get no matching results. So, now let's try Indeed, and you're going to want to make sure your location is set to maybe nationwide, if that's what you're into. But now let's try Indeed. So same thing, I'm doing nationwide in my country, and I'm gonna search a string literal uh, for CompTIA A+. So we have this job, IT and networking instructor, and if we scroll down, 
and we look, we have CompTIA A plus in the job description. So let's search Indeed. Is anybody on Indeed asking for GitHub foundations in the United States? And we have zero jobs. So I can objectively say that no employers give a crap about whether or not I have the GitHub foundations certification. So let's look at something else. Let's just do GitHub, right? And we can see there are a, a good number of jobs that have GitHub in the title. Um, but if we find one without it, so senior backend developer, uh, we can see GitHub and more specifically GitHub actions is in the job description and GitHub actions is actually one of those certifications. So while the employer is not looking for a GitHub actions certification, they are looking for experience in GitHub actions. So maybe it's useful to you in that regard. And we'll do the same thing on Indeed. We'll just search GitHub. And we get 7,801 jobs. And those are jobs with either GitHub in the title or the job description. One other thing I wanna point out is that some of these websites like LinkedIn, they do kind of like a search engine optimization on you when employers go to search for you. Um, and so if you have licenses and certifications related to GitHub and you have skills on your profile uh, for Git and GitHub, then that means you're probably gonna show up uh, in front of employers more often when they're looking for that specific technology, GitHub. Now let's examine the other definition of worth that I mentioned in the beginning of this video. Am I gonna learn a skill or a set of skills that are going to be useful to me that I'm going to use at work every day? Well, I would say this, if you have no experience with Git or GitHub, then actually like if you click on GitHub Foundations learn link here. If you actually go through this material and study for the certification, these are interactive labs and they are actually really good for learning. I, I found like if you want to learn your basic Git commands, you want to learn how to commit, merge, revert changes. These are actually really good um, tutorials and they have interactive labs where you, you can launch a sandbox here and actually run the commands and mess things up and fix them. And then you're also going to learn some really good things about how GitHub projects and issues work, uh, which I find a lot of GitHub users lack knowledge about. Uh, so it really helps make you a better uh, contributor overall to projects on GitHub. So what is my final verdict? Are these certifications worth it? Should you go out and... Well, I would say this certification is only worth it if you're in it to learn Git. Like if you have little or no experience with Git or GitHub, go study for the GitHub Foundations, go take it to validate at least some level of knowledge, but I would not get this certification hoping to land my dream job or get boatloads of money.